this is John, guys. Uh, guys, I really appreciate all the, uh, I was really feeling down on myself because I've been attacked by Satan and still being attacked horribly bad. And I've seen other videos from other um, watchmen on the wall for the Lord that uh, said they're being attacked too really, really bad, which made me feel like uh, that's a that's a thing that's happening to a lot of other watchmen on the wall for the Lord Jesus. I praise Jesus Christ, holy, holy, holy name. And I pray he forgives me and cleanses me of my sins. And I pray he finds, I pray Jesus forgives me and cleanses me of my sins and, and uh, purifies me and uh, sanctifies me through the Holy Spirit in me. And uh, I pray he keeps me filled up with the Holy Spirit all the way forward at all times. I pray Jesus finds me worthy to escape all things coming on the earth and to stand before him, Jesus, the Son of Man. I pray this in Jesus' holy name. We're supposed to pray that all the time, that we're found worthy to escape all the things coming on the earth and to stand before Jesus, the Son of Man. We, the Bible says to pray that all the time. Guys, I appreciate all the nice comments that really uh, lifted my spirits. I appreciate all that, guys. But I was feeling really down because the attacks are just being... I was even... Like I said, my body was doing things in my dreams that even though I knew God was going to be mad, I was like, God's going to be mad. God's going to be mad. But I just kept, my body just kept doing the stuff, and I didn't really know I could stop it or even, I don't think I even knew I was, I didn't know I was in a dream or anything like that, or I would have fought it, you know, I would have fought back with the sword of the spirit or uh, with the word of God or uh, rebuke Satan or something in Jesus' name or, uh, or cast those demons to hell. That was attacking me in the name of Jesus. I would have done something back to him if I knew that I could, but I didn't realize I was even in a dream. I thought it was real life. At one point, he had me in a room like I was a little child, and these parents that was over me, and they, I, used, I thought I had to listen to them, and I, th I thought I was actually a little child in the dream, and devil had it set up with perverted stuff all over. I mean, sickness stuff, like for me to do this perversion, just horrible, horrible things. I mean, and he's been attacking me with everything. I'm not going to get into no detail just perverted stuff and uh it's like I, I can't resist the stuff like normally i can resist things but in the dream he takes that resistance away from me where i don't know it's as wrong as i, I know it's wrong but it's like i still do it or something it's like i can't resist it like i would in real life and the dream when he attacks me and he just does it every time i go to sleep anymore even this last time i went to sleep right before i did this video he attacked me again in my dream just stuff like that it's horrible stuff guys and uh, I mean, it's it's his power. He has a lot of power. I tell you, God and God Yahweh and Jesus is going to cast him into hell. Satan and his demons into hell. He has no power compared to my God, Jesus and God Yahweh. But he is a very powerful uh, being. And when the demons walk the earth after the rapture happens, probably. And. Uh, like a girl said, if you think of anything other than the Lord or anything about, if you think of anything like money or anything, she said, you'll be like you like about money instead of Jesus or anything like that, your possessions or liking money or anything. Like she said, that woman got drugged straight to hell and you, or, or they would just kill you. They could tell what you're thinking. You know, they can. And they, they would come and kill you and then you go to hell or they would drag you to hell. She said she saw a vision or a dream the Lord gave her and showed her that. They're very powerful. They can have power over humans. A human ain't nothing to a demon. And I also uh, saw where uh, Mike 444 uh, said that he, uh, he was telling about somebody's dream. You know how he does that? They said it was from the Lord. Take everything to the Lord in prayer. I tell you, anybody tells you to see if it was really from the Lord. But he said that uh, them giants are here now. I had done a video a long time back showing giants, babies and giants and stuff, and real giants over in Japan and stuff they have. They showed, I mean, it's huge. Even that baby that woman had, it was huge. I mean, just like a baby, just a toddler. And they have them here. They eat human flesh, and they was eating flesh. They was. Uh, they said that that's why they have those FEMA camps. And a lot of people, I saw on the TV the other day, said still like thousands of people are missing from those ones in Houston. The Houston floods from that hurricane in Houston. They said they don't know what happened to them. When they ask about them, they won't get no information from the FEMA camps. It just disappeared off the face of the planet. It's like they wouldn't even never uh, born. They said when they checked the records, it's like they didn't even exist or something. They said they fe they feed those those things have such a thirst for uh, I mean, hunger uh, for human flesh and uh, thirst for the blood. 
of humans that they devour them and they feed them through that, cutting off people's heads. And that's what they'll use those female cats for. after they cut people's heads off, they'll feed them to them. God said, maybe the demons too, you know. And uh, said there's, he showed it, Mike, uh, brother Mike, he showed in a, in his video how the people were missing, uh, showing up missing at these national parks and like over a million of some people. And he says, very, very strange in the clusters in California, Oregon, all over the United States. He said that uh, they, even a guy I looked into this a former policeman, he said it's the most weirdest thing. People were disappearing all over. They're probably feeding them to them giants. You know, they're here now. And then when they had this catastrophe, they'll use that as uh, to cut people's heads off, which they probably already, that's probably what happened to all them people missing from the Houston, uh, from them Pima camps and all that. They probably fed them to them things, you know, who knows, and to demons too, you know. But the attacks are getting unbelievable. Satan's attacks against us, the watchmen on the wall for the Lord, are just getting unbearable on, on me. I mean, it's pray for me. Oh, I need all the prayer I can get, guys, and please pray for me to be purified. Uh, that the Holy Spirit purifies me and sanctifies me, gets me ready to go in the rapture so I can go in the rapture. Like I told the Lord, I... I prayed for mercy. I told him I'm a horrible sinner. I said, please have mercy on me, God, Yahweh, and Jesus, for I'm a horrible sinner. And I need all the mercy I can get from the Lord Jesus, and I need all the help and prayer and everything, guys, uh, from you guys. Uh, some of you guys have been such good viewers and commenters, really nice comments. I really you appreciate it more than you ever, guys could ever imagine. But, guys, uh, not now, October 8th and 9th is Yom Kippur, I guess they say it, the Day of Atonement. And... Uh, there's a, there's a war is getting ready to start in the Middle East, looks like, in Syria, Iraq, and Turkey. As uh, Turkey's uh, having a massive attack on the Kurds in Syria, which most of them, I think, are Christians. So please pray for those Kurdish people in Syria. I believe they're in Syria, and Turkey's uh, invading them in Syria. And to, to wipe out the Kurds, it's like a genocide on, that Turkey's doing on the Kurdish people. Most of them are Christians or their brothers and sisters in Christ, as far as I understand. So please pray for those Kurds, the Kurdish people. Guys, uh, this is like the Gog and Magog is ganging up for the Gog and Magog. Uh, Russia, Turkey, and Iran. Russia said, do what you got to do. They're, they're basically giving okay to them to do it. And uh, so they're like ganging up, Russia, Turkey, and Iran, the Gog and Magog. And first they... Uh, want to crush the Christian Kurds, and then they'll probably surround Israel. It's happened on the Day of Atonement, which is uh, 8th and 9th of October. Today's the last day of the Day of Atonement or whatever. But it runs two days, part two days. But guys, um, also, if you remember, also they're activating the troops. I'll, I'll show more about that and Marines and stuff here in the United States which will be around the time of Halloween. I think something may be going to happen around Halloween, guys. It could be. I'm just guessing. I'm not saying for sure it's going to. I'm not going to do that anymore. I didn't say that before for sure, but I said, I just told you what I'd heard, but it must have been from the enemy, I guess. But on the 28th day thing, apologize about that, guys. Uh, he's attacking me over time, though, you know. And uh, we see through a glass darkly. So right now, the Bible says, uh, I sh also, guys, uh, there, uh, the U.N. in our country that shouldn't even be here. The U.N. shouldn't even be in here, but who cares what this country's evil, so it's going to go down. But, uh, I mean, I love the people. I hate to see anybody get hurt or killed, but it's uh, destruction. God's going to pour his uh, judgment on, on the United States. It's, it's a lot of places in the United States are worse than uh, so Sodom and Gomorrah now, like uh, uh, San Francisco, California, a lot of California, uh, New York, New Orleans is horrible, Louisiana, um, Las Vegas, Nevada, Sin City. He's going to pour judgment out on this on this country and uh, on the world. So, guys, you're supposed to not be hanging on nothing of the world. And let, you, you, whenever this happens, I even heard people say the Lord told them they better not be thinking they wished it was back the way it was or you won't even take another rapture. I've heard that. I don't know if that's true or not to take the Lord in prayer, but it probably is because you ain't supposed to be caring about nothing in this world. I had a birthday recently. I didn't even get a birthday present because you know the verse, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Uh, that verse, you know, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. 
So the only thing I want is the Lord so I didn't even get a birthday gift. I did it first, and I thought about it, and I said, it was tore up anyways, and I sent it back, and I got another one that's tore up too, and like the Lord was showing me, don't get this stuff in this world of junk. And then I just sent it back, and I was wanting to give the money that for my birthday to some poor person, but my wife said, we're too poor to do that, and she, I gave her the money to do with what she wanted to. I would I would have gave it away to somebody less fortunate. We're pretty darn poor. We're having a real time, hard time this month struggling, trying to make it. But I know the Lord always helps us make it through. But I sent it back and I said, I just want you, Jesus. I don't want nothing in this world no more. And uh, also, uh, the UN, even though they shouldn't even be in this country, but they're here and, and they've been training here. The troops, they even was activated to be ready for uh, whatever's coming. And the troops will be, will be um, ready in two weeks from the 4th of October. It's supposed to be uh, there for two weeks or a month, so it'll be right around the time of uh, Halloween. It'll, they'll be here and all activated UN and Marines and whatever else, Marines and whoever else has been uh, activated for whatever they know is going to ready to happen. So I think some destruction is going to come maybe during this time. But also, if you remember, I'm sure y'all remember, the U.N. celebrated the International Day of Peace on September 21st, 2019. September 21st, 2019, the U.N. celebrated the International Day of Peace. The Sanhedrin will host a conference of 70 nations, or did host a conference of 70 nations. Every nation and ethnic group who sees itself as part of humanity and therefore accepts responsibility uh, was joined in a universal covenant of brotherhood of peace was invited to take the place in this organization of 70 nations to join in a universal covenant of the brotherhood of peace. So there's that could be for when they say peace and safety, so and sudden destruction comes on, then must develop on a woman or a child. And, uh, oh, let me show you that. That's not the right verse. Right here. First Thessalonians 5, 5. While people are saying peace and safety, sudden destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman or they will not escape. Uh, let's see. Here's, I don't know what. Let me read the, uh, King James. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they shall not escape. All right. And then, uh, let's see, Jewish holidays. We also got the Jewish holidays coming up of Yom well, I didn't say that Yom Kippur is October 8th and 9th. Today is the last day of it. And the Sukkot is October 13th. Begins sunset of October 13th, 2019. Ends Sunday, October 20th at nightfall. October 13th through October 20th. A Sukkot. And then we got, uh, well, you know, Shemini. That's, I don't even know how to say that. You know how to say that, guys. You can see it there. Um. That's October 20th through the 22nd. I'm not sure how to even say that. It's another Jewish holiday. Following the seven joyous days of the Sukkot comes the happy holiday known as Shemini Atzeret Simchat Torah. Whatever. I don't know what the other word for that is. Let's see. This says the Seven days of Sukkot, which is October 13th through the 20th, celebrated by dwelling in the Sukkah, uh, taking the four um, kinds of rejoicing is the holiday when we expose ourselves to the elements in covered huts, com commemorating God's sheltering and ans our ancestors as they tra traveled from Egypt to the Promised Land. The four kinds express our unity and our belief in God's omnipresence. Uh, coming after the solemn high holidays, it is a, a time of joy and happiness. The Sukkot, October 13th through 20th. And then I want to play this. It's uh, Brother Mike. I think it's the right one. If it isn't, I'll let you know. No, it's not the right one. Sorry, guys. Here it is. Okay. This is Brother Mike. Why don't you watch this, guys? And listen. Please. Hi, my name is Mike, and uh, this is the second video of today. Um, I just wanted to highlight an interesting fact that just came across, and I just wanted to share it. Um, we know that Satan is um, likes to copy God and imitate, try to imitate God. For example, he, he wants to be like an angel of light, as it says in um, 
2 Corinthians 11.14 And I wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. So he masquerades as an angel of light. And also, um, in many ways, he tries to copy God. For example, he wants to, as it says in... Um, One scripture in Second Thessalonians two, four. He will oppose, and exalt himself above every so-called god or object of worship. So he will seat himself in the temple of God, proclaiming himself to be God. So he will sit in uh, Jerusalem to proclaim in the temple that they're going to build to proclaim himself to be God. Uh, and and obviously we know that Jesus will rule for a thousand years and uh, from. Um, Jerusalem. So he wants to copy God in all things. So, what well, I just come, I'm just speculating. I don't know, give me thoughts and comments yourself. But uh, we're arriving in the time of Israel's winter time, which is, uh, this is, is, they have two seasons. Summer is April to, to beginning of October, and winter time, which many prophecies have said that something might happen at that sort of time. It starts at late October to mid-March. In, in a video uh, given to Brother Jeff Biley, if you want to check out his video on YouTube, it's called A Very Real Warning About US, U.S. Military Domestic Deployment and Baptism of the Holy Spirit, where he talks about U.S. Uh, military uh, deploying uh, domestic deployment, bringing out more people to, in areas... Um, not sure what areas, but areas around America. So they're bringing out this, it's like a high alert. Um, so are they expecting something? Are they preparing something? As this is an interesting article uh, regarding, um, if I can find it, the origins of Halloween. Because we know that uh, the end of this month will be a, a Jewish winter time where many prophecies are talking about. Uh, something happening in the winter time um, and also talk, also interesting time as well is that in winter time the end where they're deploying troops in two weeks time apparently which will be near the end of october happens to be halloween time brexit time is the 31st of october but also an interesting fact is the origins of halloween and noah's flood connection so this is the article i'll leave the links for it Many theologians and church historians are aware of the significance of Halloween, but unfortunately the average American child celebrates the holiday totally oblivious to its great importance in God's dealings with man. October 31st, Halloween, meaning hallowed or sacred evening, is the day that Noah boarded the ark and the great flood came upon the earth to destroy the first world. One year and ten days later, Noah left the ark on Mount Ararat. All around the world, ancient cultures from China to South America celebrate October 31st as both a New Year day and a day to remember the dead. Since the day is universally celebrated, these traditions have originate, may have originated from the oral traditions passed down by Noah to his descendants since the Great Flood. So can you imagine, the end of this month is the Great Flood, where... God destroyed all Satan's children. Is Satan going to imitate and bring about a disaster at the end of the month? That's just a speculation and guesswork, but um, is he copying in this respect? Um, I don't know. I'm just guessing. Any comments out there, uh, please leave them. I'll leave all the links below and just say, uh, anyone out there who hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please do so in prayer repentance. God bless you all. Bye-bye. I just want to say again, guys, uh, so that you understand, it's a really high watch time for something catastrophe to happen. And I believe maybe the three days of darkness and uh, the demons may come down to the earth to the rapture. The rapture, rapture may happen. It's a high watch time for rapture, you know, down around uh, these uh, feast days and also around the Halloween time. But, guys, also I want to say not only thanks for the comments, but thanks for the prayers mostly. That's what I really appreciate, the comments and the prayers too, but especially the prayers, your prayer, prayers for me, guys. Please keep praying for me. I really appreciate it. And you guys know who you are, the ones that always write me the nice comments and stuff and pray for me and stuff. I really appreciate it, guys. And also, I want to read this Matthew 24. It's like I heard Matthew 24 in my spirit last night. And uh, 
So I was looking at it, and I want to read this Matthew 24, 37 through 39. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah. The Bible's been changed too. Because I get so tired of people uh, saying the Bible's ain't been changed. Yes, they have. Uh, if you can't see that, um, pray that you're, you need to seek and the Lord and ask that he saves you and fills you with the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit leads you to all truth. A guy, I... The other day, he called me a false prophet. I said, I said, well, you can call me what you want to, but I said, the Bibles have changed. You should know it's supposed to say Noah, uh, not Noe. Uh, now it says two men shall be in one bed, one shall be taken, one shall be left like two men. It's supposed to say two. They add the word men to it. They, two, it's supposed to say two shall be in one bed, one shall be taken like one wraps and one left. And then two women shall be grinding together. That's sexual too. It's supposed to say two women shall be grinding grain at the, at the mill. And one should be taking one left, but it's now it says two women should be grinding together. Uh, that's sexual, guys. It's uh, another change. But the Bible's been changed. We're in the time of the great deception. Most people have been deceived by it. Also, we're in the last days, guys. It's been The Bible's been changed for years now. Uh, this is the time of the great deception. That's a huge part of the great deception. I think other parts of it will be with uh, demons come down. Pe people will be deceived that they're, uh, think they're the gods. And Obama, probably the Antichrist, is their leader. They'll think they're the ones that made people. We know that belong to Jesus, that God Yahweh is the creator of all things, and our Lord Jesus, and uh, he created all things. He created man and everything, but they'll try to fool people and they'll be deceived if they didn't receive love of the truth, truth or didn't love the truth of God's true word. And they don't see these changes. Uh, the Bible says uh, if they, if that God will send them a strong delusion, so they'll believe it was a lie. All, all that had pleasure in their righteousness, so they all might be damned who believe not the truth but have pleasure in their righteousness. And uh, so, so guys, uh, you need to see these changes to the Bible. It's part of the huge part of the great deception. And then when the demons come down, like that girl said, they'll be eating people and dragging people to hell and everything if they just get their mind off Jesus and need to be praying, saying Bible verses and everything when they're here to keep, uh, keep them awake. Because once you get your mind, that woman thought of money and they drug her straight to hell. Let me read the verse again, guys. Matthew 24, 37, 39. Uh, look in to watch videos by EYA, x you show always. She's a cat. She's good at showing you Bible changes in uh, True Shock TV. EYA and uh, True Shock, T-R-U-T-H, space, shock, S-H-O-C-K, then space, and TV. Watch their videos. Watch my videos on the Great Deception and Bible Changes and all them back some time ago. I had a part one, two, and three on the Great Deception. That's a real good one I did on the Bible Changes. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage until the day that Noah, Noah entered the ark. Not Noah. And until the day that Noah entered the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Okay, now, and the reason I think, um, I've been noticing these commercials, uh, the Reese's commercials. Oh, sorry, guys. This is Buy a bunch of Reese's. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, there you go. Turn off all the lights in your house. It's like it's saying, Here's a good it's like it's saying, uh, three days of darkness is showing, turn off all the lights, like it'll be dark. Three days of darkness, like a doorbell's ringing in them, like somebody's at the door, like some evil, like demons are outside, don't answer your door. We're supposed to not answer the door, go outside during the three days of darkness. We're supposed to pray and seek the Lord's face during time and pray to Jesus during this time. Here's a good Halloween trick. Buy a bunch of Reese's. Uh-huh, there you go. Turn off all the lights in your house. Yeah, yeah. And then just don't answer the door. See hey guys, I noticed that. I noticed that watching that video, how it uh, is referring to that. You know, Halloween's coming up. Something they know maybe. And here's another one. This new, I'm sure y'all seen this new Kit Kat commercial where the woman carved a pumpkin's face and she said, sorry, apologize for messing up on its face or something like that. Let me just play it. And then I didn't notice the doorbell ringing in it until I was watching at the doctor's office like yesterday or the day before when I took my mother off to the doctor and. Uh, the TV over there is set up, I guess, for people that's deaf, and it has the words at the bottom, and it said doorbell rings, and and then I got to looking at it and watching it again, and I and you can hear the doorbell ring, but it's very subtle; you don't really pay attention to it. So, like something's at the door, 
like don't answer it you know here I'll play it so I noticed that Boo. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for what I did to your face oh good have a break listen for the doorbell mm. breaks are good have one here it goes <laughs> I'm sorry for what I did to your face. Oh, good. Have a break. Mm. Breaks are good. Here. Have one. And I'm not saying if you don't see the Bible changes that you're not saved or nothing. I mean, I'm saying if you see them, it's a really good thing. And uh, I don't know why some people don't see them uh, seem to be such good Christians. I don't understand. I don't know. I, I see a lot of people talking about the great deceptions here, but they don't even understand it's the Bible changes is, is what it is. They have it mixed up with other stuff. They think it's like these preachers preaching like false things at churches and stuff. It's it's the Bibles have been changed. Guys, they even said they was going to do it. Uh, the, the guy that works for Satan said years ago, uh, he uh, somebody told what he said. It, they told him not to bring any recording devices in there, but he said that he said that there was going to change the Bible a little bit at a time, and most people wouldn't notice. The very few that did wouldn't make wouldn't matter. And they said, "What about churches? Won't they stand up about y'all change the Bible if you can change the Bible?" And they said, "No, the church will help." And that's exactly what they're doing because that guy that told me, called me a false prophet went to the church I used to go to. I had to quit going there because they didn't see the Bible changes, or so they're preaching on the law of false preaching. But the Bible's being changed. They're preaching out of the Bible, and it's been changed. And uh, had to quit going to church. I think God is pulling his people, most of them, out of the church because he wants to teach you himself and not from man uh, what he teaches and also where the Bible's been changed. He wants to have time with us his, uh, and us with him, uh, us with Jesus, and uh, special time with him and not these man churches that where they're preaching from the Bible's been changed. But the guy that he's one of the ones that preaches there to church. He's not a preacher, but he's like a deacon. He preaches sometimes at their church, and he's I love him to death. He's I, I, he's a, like a close neighbor, not very far away from me. But I love him. Don't get me wrong. I love this guy. But he did call me a false prophet when I told him about the Bible changes. He goes to that church and preaches a lot there. But that's all right. I love him. I forgive him anyhow. But guys, I love you all, and I'll see you soon. So watch this Halloween. It's good. Watch time for something could happen, guys. I'm not saying not saying the rapture's going to happen on Halloween. I'm not going to set no dates, but it is a good watch time anyways. And also the time, these Jewish holidays before that also as well. I think it's really close, guys. War is getting ready to start. Uh, Israel's getting ready to be surrounded probably. Uh, got Gog and Magog getting ready. And uh, and then you got um, World War Three getting ready to start. America's getting ready to get destroyed and wiped out. And all, kind of, all the dominoes are set to fall right now, guys. Love you guys. See you on the next video, guys. Bye.